I'm Dr. Randy Viola and we're at the Stebbin Clinic in Vail, Colorado. And today we're going to perform a skier's thumb repair using the True Shot Why Not. The anchor is drilled and placed using a single device. The simplicity allows for optimal placement of drill tunnels. The device is all polyester, so there is no metal, and the pullout strength of the device is outstanding. Make a longitudinal incision directly over the dorsal ulnar aspect of the thumb MP joint, and we expose the EPL tendon. One approach is to split the ulnar sagittal band off the edge of the tendon. The approach I prefer to use is a longitudinal split. I think the tendon opposes better, and it's very simple to repair a longitudinal split in the EPL tendon whereas repairing that sagittal band is difficult as the tissue is flimsy. We split the EPL longitudinally, we we'll track the EPL and the adductor aponeurosis ulnarly. We've got a complete distal tear of the ulnar collateral ligament. We've got the volar ulnar attachment of the ulnar collateral ligament right here. Here's the, here's the volar surface of the bone, here's the dorsal surface of the bone. The normal insertional site is at the junction of the middle one-third of the base of the proximal phalanx and the volar one-third. So I will take my true shot the end of the guide is serrated so it locks into the bone. It's going to first drill with the 1-7 drill, remove the drill guide wire, and simply deploy the device by tapping it in. When the blue end of the device is seated against the white frame, that means the device is fully seated. The trigger on the device deploys the Y knot, and that's it. Then you remove the sutures, remove the device. So the device is all sutured. The suture is a 2-0 hi-fi, high-strength suture. The suture slides. So we put one locking stitch through the ligament. I place the mattress suture through the volar aspect of the ligament. I bring the dorsal suture through the ligament in mattress fashion. Remove your needles and take the dorsal stitch, which is passed freely through the ligament, and use that to tie the ligament snugly to its insertion. You can see how snugly that brings that down. The sagittal band is in good condition. The sagittal band's attachment to the ECL is intact, and the tendon's repaired with a running, typically 3-0 monocryl or 3-0 vicryl suture. Solid as a rock.